Hello, okay, welcome back. I have with me in my third, in this third segment of Vaughan in Vivo, I have a good friend of mine, a good friend of yours, and a very good student whose progression is surprising me and many people. People stop her on the street. Yeah, she told me, she's quiet, she's on me, okay? People stop, she told me the other day that she was walking down the street and people stopped and said, I've seen you, I know you, you're a television star. <laughs> and, 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 the, and it's true, the people said, it's incredible how much you're improving. Okay, she's getting better and better and better and better every day. To get better is mejorar. To improve is to mejorar. Okay? To progress. Acentuando la segunda sílaba. Progresar. To progress is to make progress. So she's getting better and better. Hello, Annette. How are you? Hello, fine. Thank you. Are you glad to be here? Of course. Okay. Now, vamos a hacer cosas difíciles. Okay? Ask me if I could go from here to your house and back in 10 minutes. Uh, could you go from here to my house and back in 10 minutes? I don't think so. I really don't know where you live. Could I? No, you couldn't. How long would it take me to go from here to your house and back? One day. No, driving in my car. Ah, <laughs> driving in your car. Uh, one, one hour. An hour. An hour. It would take me. Ask me how long it would take me to drive from here to my house and back. How long would it take you uh, from here to drive. to drive from here to your house? And, and come back. back. And back. And back. Se entiende, come back. Or drive back. To go from here to my house and back, to go from here to my house and back, would take me about 40 minutes. If there isn't a traffic problem, it would take me 40 minutes. I don't live very far from here in time. Ask me how long it would take me to walk to my house from here. How long would it take you uh, to walk to your house from here? It would probably take, it would probably, probably, probably. Son tres sílabas. Probablemente. Pero cuando hablamos seguido, de corrido, it, lo convertimos en dos. Probably. 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 <laughs> it would probably take me about three hours to walk from here to my house. So to walk here, from here to my house and back would probably take me about six hours. Probably, okay? Take me about six hours. Okay, now, ask me if I think, ask me if the Pope will live for another 40 years. Uh, would the... Uh, no, no, can you tell Ask me if the Pope will live for another 40 years. Will the Pope live for another 40 years? I really doubt it. Ask me how old the Pope, ask me how old the Pope would be if he lived another 40 years. Ask, excuse me. Ask me how old the Pope would be if he died in 40 years. How old would be the Pope how old would the Pope be if he dies? In, if he died. If he died in 40 years. Uh, he would be, I think, about 120 years old. How old is the Pope? Do you know? 74, I think so. Uh, I think. I think. I think he's older. Or 76. I think he's even older. I think no. he's about 80. No? No. I don't remember. Okay. Now, ask me how old my father's father, my, gr my grandfather, was when he died. How old were, was. Uh, how old was your uh, grand, grand uh, My grandfather. Your grandfather when he dies, when he died. Good. Uh, my father, my paternal grandfather was 71 uh, when he died. Ask me how old he would be if he were still alive today. How old, how old would he be if he still... <clears throat> how old uh, would he be... If? If he would still... No. Cis okay. Can you ask me the question again, please? No, lo voy a decir en español y lo vas a la vas a traducir. Uh, ¿Cuántos años tendría ahora si, todo, si estuviera todavía vivo? Mm. How old would he be if he still... Mm -mm. Si estuviera todavía, pon estuviera primero. If he were... Uh, were... Were. Were. Ah, oscurece más. If were. he were... Still? Still alive. Okay, how old would your grandfather be if he were still alive? Sorry. Repeat. How old, uh, how old uh, would your grandfather be if he were still alive? If my grandfather, my father's father, were still alive, oh my God, he would be 116 years old. Yeah, 
or 117, depending on the time of the year. He was born in 1891. Ask me how old he was when my father was born. How old uh, was he when your grandfather was born? No, when, his fa when my father. How old was he when your father was born? Well, my father was born in 1923, so he was 32 years old when my father was born. Mm. Okay. And uh, ask me how many brothers and sisters my father had. How many brothers and sisters did your father, father uh, have? Good. No, no, has dicho con mucha convicción. Did your father have? He didn't have any. My father was an only child. Oh. Ask me where he grew up. Where did he grow up? He grew up in Bertram, Texas, a small town uh, in central Texas. And, um, and ask me how old he was when he left that town. How old was he when he left, uh, how old was he when he left that town? Uh, he was 17, okay. He was 17 years old. Ask me where he went. Where did he go? He went to Austin, Texas. Ask me if Austin is the capital of Texas. Is Austin the capital of Texas? Yes, it is. Ask me why he went to Austin. Why did he go to Austin? He went to Austin to study, uh, to the university. Okay. Ask me what he wanted to study. What did he want to study? He wanted to study medicine. Ask me why. Why did he want to study medicine? Because his father, my grandfather, uh, was a doctor. Okay. And ask me if he enjoyed studying medicine. Did he enjoy studying medicine? Uh, no, he didn't. Ask me why. Why didn't he enjoy studying medicine? Good. Kids repeat. Why didn't he enjoy? Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, studying medicine. Studying. Studying medicine. Why didn't he enjoy studying medicine? Uh, he didn't because he really didn't like science. Hmm. He was more in the humanities. His strengths were more in humanities and not science and mathematics and biology. Chemistry. There's a lot of chemistry. And to study medicine in the United States, there is one subject. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés asignatura? One subject. Bueno, una asignatura. Yeah, okay. Subject. This, the first semester of the second year of a pre-medical, lo que se llama pre-medicina, which is the first four years, is not medical school. The first four years are pre-med. And in the uh, third semester, the university system in the United States is based on academic semesters, not academic years ciclos cerrados de cuatro meses y medio, que se llaman semestres académicos. The, um, in the first semester of the second year, uh, the sub, every pre-medical student must take biochemistry. Mm. Now, biochemistry is not necessarily an easy subject, and it can, be, it can be prepared to be very difficult. And biochemistry is the subject that American universities traditionally use to separate the people who have the potential to become a doctor and those who don't. And it's not, it doesn't mean that the people who don't are not perfectly qualified for other activities. It's just not for medicine, hmm. okay? Because it's a very hard degree of many years. It's 12 years to become a doctor. Four years of pre-med, four years of medical school, that's eight. Two years of specialization, if you want to specialize, and then one year of residency and one year of internship. Hmm. So really, you finish when you're 30 years old, and then you're ready to practice medicine. It's a bit similar in Spain. It's a long process to become a doctor, long and difficult. Okay, so my father didn't want, finally decided he didn't want to study medicine, and asked me what he did. What did he do? He joined the Air Force. Ask me why. Why did he join the Air Force? Uh, because uh, the United States, uh, it coincided with the attack on Pearl Harbor. Ask me how old he was when he joined the Air Force. How old was he when he joined the Air Force? Uh, he was, uh, let's see, he joined the Air Force in 1942, at the beginning of 1942. So he was uh, 18. He was 18 <laughs> years old. All right. Ask me if he would have joined the Air Force if the war hadn't broke out, hadn't broken out, if the war hadn't started. Would he have joined the, the, Air, Force. the Air Force if the um, war. war wouldn't? No, escúchame. 
Ask me if he would have joined, if he would have joined the Air Force if the war hadn't mm. started. Would he have joined the, the Air Force if the Second World, world War, world war hasn't, hadn't. hadn't started? Uh, probably not. Well, he didn't really join the Air Force because the Air Force didn't exist at that time. It belonged to the branch of the Army. El Cuerpo Aviación del Ejército. It was called the Army Air Corps. He wouldn't have joined uh, the Army Air Corps if the war hadn't started. Ask me if he would have finished his medical degree. Would he have finished his medical degree? degree? No, he wouldn't have. Ask me what he would have done if the war hadn't started. What would he have done if the war, war, war hadn't uh, started. started? He probably would have changed his degree plan, plan de carrera, to business or to humanities and arts, okay? Ask me if he would have met my mother if the war hadn't started. Would he uh, have had... No. Would he have met your mother if the uh, war uh, hadn't start, started? Uh, yes, he would have met her anyway, because he met her before the war started. Ask me how old he was when he met my mother. How old was he when he met your mother? I think he was 18 or perhaps 17, very young. Ask me how old she was. How old was your mother? At that time, probably 19, a little older. Uh, my mother was a year and a half older uh, than my father. And um, ask me how long he was uh, involved in the war. How long was he involved in the, involved, involved in the war? Well, between basic training and final um, discharge, from the military, almost four years, mm. okay? Uh, ask me if he studied during those four years. Did he study during the, uh, those four years? Uh, no, he didn't. He studied aviation, of course, and pilotry. He became a pilot. Uh, ask me if he wanted to join the Navy. Did he uh, wanted to join, Perdón, did no he want to join the Navy? I don't think so. Ask me what branch of the military he would have joined if the Air Force hadn't existed. What kind of branch did, what branch? What what branch? branch did he, no, no, would me. he have joined if uh, the war Air Force? Air Force hadn't exist? Hadn't, que? Perdona. Hadn't existed or existido? Existed. Good. What branch of the military or the armed forces, what branch of the armed forces would he have joined if the Air Force or Army Air Corps hadn't existed? I really don't know. I think probably he would have, jo he would have joined the Army, the regular Army, not the Navy. I can't imagine my father on the water. <laughs> no, because he grew up in an area far from the ocean, far from the water. Um, Ask me if, um, ask me when he would have graduated from the university if he hadn't joined. Well, if the war hadn't started. When would he have uh, joined? No, ask me when he would have graduated from the university if the war hadn't started. When would he have graduated? Graduated. Graduated uh, f uh, from the university. From the university if the war uh, hadn't started. Very good. If the war hadn't started, uh, he would have graduated in 1943 or 1944. Ask me where he was in 1944. Where was he in 1944? Part of 1944, he was still in the United States. It was two years of training. Eh? It's a long time for training. And the second half, he was in um, England, near Oxford. Um, and <clears throat> ask me if he would have become a pilot if he had known the dangers. Would he have become a pilot if he had known the dangers? Pilot, no pilot, pilot. Pilot. Uh, yeah, probably, he, I think he knew the dangers, okay? Uh, but he became a pilot. Now, uh, ask me if he would have, um, if he would have married my mother, okay, if she had 
been living in California. Would he have married your mother if he had if been she. if she had been living in California? Yes, I think he would have married her anyway, if she, even if she had been living in California. Okay, ask me when he finished the university. When did he finish his university? Studies. His studies. Yo he dicho, when did he finish the university? Pero tú has dicho his. Mm. You see, in search his of his, studies. sus estudios. When did he finish his studies? He finished in 1947. Ask me why he finished so late. Why did he finish so late? Well, because he lost four years. Okay. He started in 1940, and he finished in 1947. And so he, fi he worked very hard. Ask me if he was married when he finished his studies. Uh, was he married when he finished his studies? Yes, he was. Um, he was married when he finished his studies. Uh, ask me when he got married. Uh, when did he go married? Por qué go? Did you say? ¿Cómo se dice casarse en inglés? Ah. When did he uh, got married? When did he get married? <laughs> oh. uh, he got married in 1946. Okay. And ask me if my mother was also studying at the same time. Was your mother also studying at the same time? No, she wasn't. Uh, ask me what she was doing. What was she doing? She was working. Ask me what kind of job she had. What kind of job uh, did she have? Uh, she was a court stenographer. You know ah, what that is? Stenografía. Yes, the, in, yeah. the, in the courts, yes. tribunales, uh -huh. for a while. And she worked in the Texas Transportation Department, Highway Department, okay? And uh, it's interesting, the, the highways, las autovías y autopistas, the highways in Texas today, still today, she was involved in the planning. Ah. Uh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Ask me if she finished the university. Did she finish the university? No, she didn't. Okay. Ask me what she was studying when she stopped. What was she studying when she stopped? She was studying math or mathematics. Uh, Ask me if she liked math mathematics. Did she like mathematics? Very much. Uh, Ask me why she quit. Ask me why she stopped studying. Why did she stop studying? Uh, because she needed to work. Everybody, it, every, the, everything changed uh, after the attack on Pearl Harbor. And ask me if she would have continued if the war hadn't started. Would she have continued if the war hadn't stopped it? Stopped. Hadn't started. Hadn't started? Yes, if the war hadn't started, she would have continued studying at the university. Ask me if she Ask me if I think my parents would have got would have gotten married if the war had never existed. Do you think your parents would have gotten married uh, married if the war uh, had, hadn't existed? Had never ex had, had never existed. Uh, you never know, nunca se sabe. You never know, but probably, probably. Ask me where they met. Where did they meet? They met at a social club in the university. Okay, and. Um, Ask me if I think they would have gotten married sooner if the war hadn't started. Uh, would, uh, do you think they would have got gotten. gotten married sooner if the war hadn't existed? Hadn't existed? I really don't know. I really don't know. A lot of people at that time got married during their university studies in the United States. Even when I was going to the university in the early 70s, between 1970 and 1974, I would say maybe 5% or perhaps even 10% of the college students uh, got married during those years between the age of 18 and 22 or 23. A lot of, I remember on, uh, you, you go to any campus in the United States and you have dorms. Mm. You have student dorms and you have married dorms. Dorms Dorms, como, es, como dormitorios. Uh, son colegios mayores o ah. residencias estudiantiles. Ah. Se dice dorms. A dormitory. The word dormitory in English is not dormitorio. Ah. It's a uh, residencia. Una donde gente vive. And uh, we don't say residence, residential centers or, or um, colegios mayores like here. We say dorms. Dormitories. Hmm. Y se, se acorta dorms. And, and every campus has dorms for mar married couples, for married people. And uh, they occupy an important section of the campus. All right, so it's, it's common. And now I don't know. Today I don't know. But in my generation, in my father's generation, yes. Now, 
uh, ask me where my father, where my parents finally settled. Where did your parents finally settle? They finally settled in Houston, Texas, not in Austin. Uh, they were, they got married in Austin. Uh, they, no, they got married in San Antonio, excuse me. They, they got married, San, they got, but they settled in Austin and my father finished his studies. But they settled finally in Houston. Ask me why. Why did they settle finally in Houston? Me gusta finally in otro sitio. Why did they settle in, no. why? Did they? Did they settle? Why did they finally? Why did they finally settle in Houston? Yeah, por qué por, por, se asentaron or something, say, I don't know. Why did they finally settle in Houston, repeat? Why did they finally settle in Houston? Because my father found a, a job there. Ask me if they would have gone to Houston if he hadn't found that job. Uh, would they have gone to Houston if they wouldn't? If they hadn't. If they hadn't find... Found! Would they... Have gone. Have gone to Houston if they didn't... Si no hubiera, si él no hubiera they encontrado. They haven't found... No ha encontrado, no, o no hubiera. You were doing everything oh, fine up to yeah. now. Listen to me. Ask me if they would have gone to Houston if he hadn't, hadn't found that job. Would, uh, would they have gone to Houston if they hadn't found that job? Uh, probably not. Ask me why they wouldn't have gone to Houston. Why wouldn't they uh, have gone to Houston? Because Houston is a very humid city. It's a very hot and humid, especially humid. There's a lot of humidity in Houston, uh, much more than in any city I know in Spain. Okay? Mm. Yeah. And Austin and Bertram, where my father was from, is semi-arid, very similar to the center of Spain. So for, but he found a job and he decided to go to Houston. Okay? Asked me if I was born in Houston. Were you born in Houston? Yes, I was. Now, Ask me where I think I would have been born if my father hadn't gone to Houston. Uh, would you? Where do you think? Where do you think you were born? No, listen. Ask me where I think I would have been born yes. if I, if my father hadn't, if my parents hadn't moved to Houston. Uh, where do, where you do you think you would have, have been born if your father? Hadn't, hadn't gone. gone to Houston. I have no idea, but if I had to make a guess, hacer una adivinar, to make a guess, I would bet, postaria, I would bet that I would have been born in Dallas. Because Dallas is more similar to the area where my father grew up, the, the big city. Okay, I would have uh, uh, been born in Dallas. Ask me if my sister was born in Dallas. Uh, was your sister born in Dallas? No, she wasn't. Ask me if she was born in Houston. Was she born in Houston? No, she wasn't. Ask me where she was born. Where was she born? Uh, she was born in uh, Austin. Ask me if she was born head first. Uh, was she born head first? No, she wasn't. Ask me how she was born. How was she born? She was born feet first. Oh. Yeah, it's more dangerous. Yes, a lot. Okay. Ask me if my grandfather was present at the delivery. Was your grandfather present at the delivery? Yes, he was. The delivery is el parto. Yes. Okay, but he wasn't the main doctor. But my grandfather delivered 3,400 babies. So he was a record holder in, in babies. Ask me how much time we have left. How much to, uh, time do we have left? Just one minute, okay. Ask me if I would have come here last Sunday if they had insisted. Would you have come here last Sunday if they had insisted? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, if they had insisted, uh, it would have been necessary. Well, very good. You're getting better. Lo haces un poco mecánicamente. Hmm. Tenemos que seguir haciéndolo para que llegue a ser un sexto sentido y empiece a sentir o parecer casi natural. And with you too. There are some structures in the English language that are a bit complicated. They follow fairly firm rules, so it's, not, it's easy to understand the theory, but to gain agility in the practice simply requires saying the sentences 500 times and hearing the sentences 500 times, and for some people 5,000 times, and we have 
all the time in the world. Vamos a estar aquí 10 años en este Aprende Inglés TV. Así que hay tiempo más que de sobra para ir dominando todas las estructuras relevantes de mi idioma y uh, ganando oído al mismo tiempo. All right, you have five minutes. Five minute break. Be back. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Yeah.